Hi, and welcome to a Draft House Diary for Tuesday, August 13th, 2024, when I came here to the Alamo Draft House at Westminster to see Twilight of the Warriors, Walled In. That's kind of a complicated title, and it's something of a complicated movie, but an interesting one. It's a movie that involves gang warfare and intergenerational vendettas, and it's set in the Kowloon Walled City. The Kowloon Walled City was an area of Hong Kong, the site of a former military fort, that became a dense agglomeration of buildings, even more densely populated, and it sort of became a society on its own. It was effectively lawless, it was ruled for decades by criminal triads, and it became a haven for drugs and crime and a lot of things that the Hong Kong authorities chose to turn a blind eye to. It was demolished in the early 1990s, shortly before Hong Kong was returned to China. This movie is an example of the interesting and ongoing tendency to romanticize the Kowloon Walled City and what it represents, to try to kind of forget about the crime and violence and look at it as an example of an interesting society that kind of grew organically. In this movie, it's kind of celebrated as a place that is the right place for the right people who find their way there. It's also depicted as a place that promotes a chosen family, which is very much a theme in this movie. It's got a good, if sometimes complicated, plot and some very good action scenes, although it's very interesting to see this kind of kung fu action shot in a location that necessarily gives us lots of confined spaces. Sometimes that meant camera angles that enhanced our view of the action in interesting ways, and sometimes it just felt a little bit too constrained and it was hard to tell what was going on, and it made the fights seem smaller. Overall, it was a good balance and good fight choreography. I don't know how much theatrical exhibition this movie's going to get in the United States. I was at the last of, I think, three screenings that it was getting here at Denver area Alamos. But if you get a chance to see it at some point, it's probably worth a try. Oh man, I'm gonna wait. I don't know how much theatrical exhibition this movie's going to get in the United States. I was at what I think was the last of about three screenings it was getting here at Denver area Alamos. But if you get a chance to see it at some point, it's worth a try. Other parts of my trip to the Alamo. There's not a lot to say about the pre-show for this movie. It was just a string of trailers for 60s and 70s and maybe 80s kung fu movies. But that was fun and it was good and it sort of gave us some of the heritage that led to a movie like uh, Twilight of the Warriors. It was also fun to see a trailer for a Sammo Hung movie in that pre-show because Sammo Hung has an interesting and well-played supporting role in Twilight of the Warriors. I didn't get any food at this visit, but I did get what I think is called the Nitro Turbo Shake, which has Jameson Irish whiskey and chocolate sauce and their special NOLA cold brew coffee. I've had that cold brew before in that don't fall asleep cocktail that I enjoyed so much. And I thought, hey, they've got it in a shake. I thought it was very good. So if you like cold brew coffee and if you like shakes that contain some alcohol, I recommend it. The service was very good. The Westminster Alamo is definitely the most comfortable in my area and they've got a great staff. So it was a good trip to the movies. I hope you enjoyed this Draft House Diary. If you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more of these as they come out, click subscribe. It costs you nothing and it does help the channel. But most important, thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back soon with more, and in the meantime, enjoy your movies, and when you do, stay till the end of the credits.